I have been trying to figure out how to start this, right? Because things feel a little different. And I feel like anyone who is a reoccurring viewer of my channel is gonna be experiencing a little uh, culture shock because I'm coming to you today and I am just in the best mood ever. It's rare in my life that I just feel at peace. You know, like there's always something going on. There's always some sort of chaos, some sort of lawsuit, some sort of man like ringing in my ear. Like there's always something. <laughs> like 99.999% of the time there is some sort of virus in my brain. You know, sometimes I like to think of my brain as like a little computer and like, Sometimes I feel like when I was born, my mom didn't get the antivirus software. That's how I would explain my anxiety and my um, crippling <laughs> sadness. I'm coming to you today in one of those 0.1 moments of my life where I just feel complete, total, uninterrupted peace. No man could walk through these doors and interrupt my peace. No contractor could hit me with a lawsuit in my inbox that would interrupt my peace. No profile pickless user calling me a fat whale could interrupt my peace. Like I just, you know, people make fun of me all the time, which I can get on board with because every single video I'm doing a major life change and I'm like, something has to change. My whole entire life has to change. My whole entire mindset has to change. Today is a new day. I am a new bitch and we're changing everything. A little Kanye spark, you know, I see every day is a new day. I try to see every day is a new opportunity. What does that say about my mental state? I'm not exactly 100% sure. Is that a cry for help? Quite possibly. Back to the point of the vlog. Hi, hello, nice to see you. How are we all doing? Hope you're doing something to embrace the new day today. Tonight is the night that I'm going to be spending the night for the first night alone in my apartment. You know, I, in the general scheme of life, have always been a person that is insanely introverted. Like I genuinely want to be by myself. I like to do things by myself. I like to go through my daily activities by myself. I like to work out by myself. At face value, that sounds kind of sad because it's like, why would you want to spend every single day, all day by yourself? Out of nowhere, I just became very dependent on people and I became very dependent on having someone around. I became very dependent on making sure someone was with me at all times. And that isn't like my natural instinct. I was just really happy today by the fact that I was happy to be spending the day alone because I feel like that means that I personally am in a happy, healthy, good place. Me going back to my introverted ways is a good sign. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like there is a fucking earthquake outside. When the guys on the motorcycle start doing all that funky business, are they under the impression that we're all sitting up here soaking wet over that? Because we're not, ugh. I thought I could bring you along to the first night that I'm spending in my apartment and we could have a little slumber party. However, it has taken me so long to get this place to a position where I want to be positioned here. So we are going to backtrack to earlier this week and go through the entire process of organizing my entire apartment, getting my entire hoarder life into said apartment and getting fully situated in my situation. Gosh, sometimes I think I should be a rapper. And then I think, oh, that sounds like a lot of work. So that was really romantic. This whole time we were talking, the sun was setting and now it's getting dark and like we're ready to get into like the fancy business, so. Well, <laughs> good evening, everyone. We are getting a late start today. It is fucking time to crash and burn, I guess. If this broke, I just went to Bed Bath & Beyond. I was always under the impression that Bed Bath & Beyond was like a place for the family. I boycotted all the pillows there. I am in desperate need of like pillows to sleep my head on. And the cheapest pillow at Bed Bath & Beyond was like $80. However, they did give me a 20% student discount because I am a student about to start year seven of undergrad, University of Arizona online. I just enrolled today. I'm having a lot of fun because I've never lived in a building like this and they have these cards. I'm trying to think of how to preface this. Question of the day. If something happened 
out of the blue and a bunch of money just started falling out of the sky or you won the lottery or some sugar daddy left you a big inheritance or whatever and all of a sudden you were a multi 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 hundreds of millionaire billionaire what would you do with that money my answer is that i would start building up hotels everywhere i would make a little hotel chain all my kids would be little like off-brand Hilton's. We were most definitely Holiday Inn vacationers, for sure. The biggest fucking scam of all time, all these bougie, like, Rich Carlton, Five Seasons places, you go and you pay, and they don't even have the free waffle machine. I live for the free waffle machine. I wanna go downstairs to the Holiday Inn and flip the free waffle machine. Anyway, notable things that I got today. A toaster from Amazon. I am a toast girl. I love toasted things. And I also got the Clorox toilet actual wand. Ugh, the glitz and glamour. I got this thing for silverware, but I don't have silverware yet. So this is manifesting that I'll find silverware soon. I take back what I said about uh, bath and whatever. It extends so it fits the drawer flawlessly. I'm amazed. In one of the boxes, I found this little thing I have that's just full of miscellaneous stuff. And I wanted to show you who I found. I, to a fault, am a very sentimental person. And I really like to hold on to <laughs> sentimental objects that represent kind of a time period in my life. <laughs> it's fucking Claire. There was a multiple way divorce and nobody wanted anything to do with anything, including Claire. And I had to adopt Claire because I am the only person that seemingly wants to like, hold on. I love you, Claire. People ask me all the time, what happened? And to this day, I have no idea what happened. So I guess it's just us, Claire. <laughs> I got these last year for my birthday. Ryan and Shane gave them to me to put into what was going to be my new house. I'm embracing new things. I'm embracing old things. I'm feeling it all, Claire. I guess this is my roommate. I also have disco lights, so if anyone wants to come have a disco party, Claire and I are ready. Where we're leaving off tonight, we have a made bed, living room, coming together decently. Kitchen, surprisingly somewhat clean. Few boxes left on the horizon. And this is the part where I tell you goodnight and I just wanna go to sleep. Whoa, sleep, bye. <laughs> oh my God, that was so dumb. I thought that was gonna look so cool. It didn't. Good morning, everyone. It's actually not morning. It is 4.05 p.m. Proof of time, proof of life. I was so happy yesterday because I was like, oh my gosh, my acne. Like at 24 years old, I had gotten my acne under control. There are no pimples on my face. This is an amazing day to be alive. This is a remarkable discovery. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> like, There was no pimples on my face yesterday. And then I woke up today and I was like, never fucking mind. I have 12 pus pockets on my face ready to explode into the abyss. Um, it's fine. Do you see that? That sucker is ready to blow. That one, that one, that one, and maybe that one are all ready to just be. <laughs> Annihilated. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. But well, let's do some makeup. <gasps> mm. This is what I have to give today. I, for the past week and a half, have been putting off going to get my internet router. We are going to walk down to the Xfinity store. We are going to get the Wi-Fi router. We are not coming home until this job is accomplished, okay? Like this is go time. This is go time. Okay. 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 This is what I like to call problem for another day. I had 
not a single clue that it was 103 degrees outside. I feel like I just got back from a trip around the surface of the sun. This looks like the most well done Brandale for Xfinity ever. It's not. And oh. <laughs> to you, it probably looks like a worthless box. To me, it signifies getting my life back in order. Do you see those glorious three lines that just say, <laughs> take that? T-Mobile. Just for like some self-exploration purposes, my therapist had me make a list of ways that I think that potentially ADHD affects me the most, right? I talked about that last time and people were like, can you share more? And I was like, okay, if you want me to share more, I guess I'll share more. So here I am sharing more. I whipped out my little notepad and I wrote down the top three concepts of life that I like struggle with the most. Number one, I do not deal with things until it becomes a fucking issue. I wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until something is like officially a problem until I am dealing with it, right? For example, today, I haven't had Wi-Fi for two weeks. I have lived here for two weeks, half of a month, 14 days. I have lived here without Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi store is literally down the street. I can see it with my own two eyes. Like in a logical brain, what would be the simple solution? Hi Xfinity, my name's Morgan. I'm coming down the street to get a router, okay? And they would have said, okay. Instead of doing that, my solution was, okay, I'm gonna run the hotspot on my phone for two weeks straight. I'm gonna be up on the rooftop because that's where I get the best reception for my hotspot. I'm gonna have the laptop running. I'm gonna have the iPad running. I'm gonna do everything on the face of the web that I need to do in the next 25 minutes until my phone pops up with a notification that says, hey, um, overheating. This is a side issue within the issue, but you know what my issue with T-Mobile is, is that I pay for unlimited data, but they cap you off at 50 gigabytes. And after you reach that, they send you a little text message and they're like, we're slowing down your data significantly because you're using too much. But I feel like that completely tarnishes the reputation of T-Mobile having unlimited because what's the point of having unlimited if like it's limited? I only have 50 gigabytes of free data? This isn't shade at all because I thought it was really funny. One time I was hanging out with James Charles and he picks up my phone and he looks at it and he goes, ew, you have Sprint? Aren't you rich? <laughs> and I was like, uh. I am from the suburbs of Colorado. Like, let me have a Sprint, okay? So I waited two weeks until life came crashing down where I was like, okay, time to walk five minutes down the street and get my Wi-Fi set up, I guess. Like, why, why? Why do I have to wait until everything is an issue before the issue gets resolved? Number two, this is something that I've been thinking about a lot this year. I don't think caffeine does an absolute single ounce of anything for me. I could drink two venti cold brews and take my ass to bed. I think me being addicted to caffeine isn't because I like the effect of what caffeine does for me. I think in my mind, I'm like, oh, if I drink caffeine, then I'll start being productive because that's the point, right? Keep in mind, this isn't me complaining my life. This is just me spilling my train of thought. Third issue is I am a person that like watches other people who have, you know, big groups of friends and they go out to bars and they go to clubs and they go to concerts. And I'm like, why don't I do those things? But then when the opportunity presents itself, I'm like, When I show you this room, you're gonna be so scared. Last week I just moved all the stuff from my storage pod and now I have to actually deal with my life that's here and get it, you know, a couple miles down. <laughs> She's up. I'm up. Just an overview. Right now I have piles going on. They don't really look like piles, but they're kind of organized into different little subsections of things. Chopped a hole, took a chunk, fine the right whole pile of knot at the bottom so no leaky liquids get inside. There's one, here's two. Honestly, I have to give it to myself because this is one of my smarter ideas. We unwrap and we're unpacked. Red is first, blue. I'm having second thoughts because I feel like the jackets overhang too much, like some of them are a little too long that I can't really see the pants. And I'm probably more likely to reach for a pair of pants than I am for a jacket, so we might have to switch them. Okay, I have two black mini skirts looking to go have a good time. 
Red, orange, yellow, green. Is there not a pink and Roy G. Biv? I don't think pink or purple are in the system. Red, orange, yellow, Roy G. Blue, indigo. What the fuck is indigo? Is it indigo blue? Does blue have two letters in the name and purple and pink can't get one? We couldn't have made it like Roy G. P -P Piv. You know what, Roy G. Biv, screw you because I feel like the orange and the brown should be together because they can kind of like fade in and out. Is the B for brown? Sometimes I think that I'm meant to be a housewife that just gets dressed every night and goes to like a lifeless dinner and sits there and I'm like, okay, I wore my outfit, let's go home and we can talk about your limp dig syndrome. I'm just gonna say that the pink goes with the red because Six months from now, come Valentine's Day, I'm gonna I'm gonna need both in easy reach. Yes. This is one of my favorite things that I own. It's from Target. I got it in the men's section. It's an extra, extra large. And I swear to you, I wear this with everything, on top of everything, in combination with everything. Starting to come together nicely. I have these frames from not only my last apartment, but from the past two apartments. And I'm not 100% sold on them. However, I am sick and tired of looking at a blank wall. So I'm gonna hang them up and then I think I'm gonna try to find new prints to put inside of them because I like the concept. I like the frames. I see the vision. I just don't know if this is exactly what I'm going for at this point in my life. Oh, cute. I got a new little duvet cover. I'm gonna show you the one valuable lesson that I've learned from a straight man. So you take the duvet cover, you turn it inside out, you lie it on top, flat, flat as can be. Grab the corners and you flip it and the thing is inside of the thing. And then all you gotta do, take the side with the buttons and close it up. Like the cheese made it in to the taco. Flawlessly, effortlessly. That was the moment that I knew that my soul was gonna get crushed by some man. Um, considering she has to pay rent, I guess this is my roommate. What do you think, Cookie? Oh. We're running, we're running. Oh, 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 oh. What do you think? She's like, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have to see the whole place. You have to see the whole place. I'm back with a pair of scissors. And we're gonna see what it looks like. Well, I've chopped my finger open. There's a mess everywhere. I'm trying to wipe these off. And they literally run away from the paper towel. Do you see that? They like jump. Okay. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Do you love um, my lamp? I will see you tomorrow. Oh. Good morning, world, <laughs> and all who inhabit it. If you don't shut the fuck up with that sound, Alexa. Sorry, I'm oh. having trouble connecting to the internet. I'm, I'm not talking, talking to you, I'm rather okay. okay. to So try restarting them. I get it. Unplug both of us. Back on the internet. Bitch, the shut up. Unplugging the Echo device. You are one offense away from getting unplugged, Alexa. Don't start. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm it done. looks like an issue with the router and echo. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh, you. Good morning, everyone. I'm alive. I'm awake. I didn't get murdered on my first night being alone, so 
I would say that that's a raging success. I'm getting ready this morning to go to a very special destination. You can hear the dryer going because I've been magic erasing my shoes all morning. Actually, you can see how that's going. I am obsessed with these shoes, but they get so dirty. So Mr. Clean and I have been trying to clean them up all morning and I wanted to wear them out today at like 9 a.m. but now they're wet so I've been trying to dry them and it's not working all that well. Anyway, the agenda for this morning. I'm gonna make some oatmeal, put some banana in it. I have been getting all of these cabinets organized. Can I just tell you that I think this is some of my best work? There's not really much in them. Like in this one, I'll show you. Okay, pantry tour <laughs> while we're here. I've elevated a little bit. I have some things. I have some teas. I have a lot of pre-workouts. I got some almond butter, ice cakes. I got some bread. The fridge is probably the saddest thing you've ever seen in your life. I've just been trying to frantically clean this place up. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna hang up the phone. We all know I have a hard time doing that. But I wanted to tell you that if you live in Denver or the surrounding areas, I've been working out with this amazing, 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 amazing trainer. Her name is V. I originally met her at SoulCycle and then I started working out with her and we've been working out for the past month. V is having an event on August 20th. It's either 9 or 11 a.m. I'll, I'll put it right here. But if you want to sign up to come to the event, we could hang out in person, have a good time, work out, drink some mimosas, chat a little bit, have a little, I don't know, Hoorah. Right now this morning, it's just me and Mr. Clean having a hoorah. This is totally just like V's thing, but I love her so much and she has like helped me in so many ways. So I just wanted to support her. I'll put in my description where you can buy tickets. If you can't afford tickets and you actually really want to come, DM me, let me know, and I can make it happen for you. So Mr. Clean and I are going. I guess I'm going to put on my wet shoes. Ugh. It feels like diving fins. They smell clean, so that's something. Thanks for being here with me so I don't get very scared. When I tell you guys that you are like my friends because I'm really not that social and I like don't do much with my life and like this is my social hour, I mean it. Like I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for chatting with me. Thank you for hanging out. I love you so much. I hope you have the, I feel like I'm like calming, I'm going into Zen mode. I love you so much. And I hope that you have an amazing week and I will see you so soon. I love you, goodbye.